Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. I was climbing out of that area where we were down there, which isn't really like visible on the map, but I started climbing back upwards by dashing through that spikes that I had to hop through before, going past the big hopping bug, dashing through the spikes on the other side, and then I started climbing up on the left, and I almost died. So I ran into this cave on the side, and this was here. So now we have Quick Slash. And that sounds amazing. Born from imperfect, discarded nails that have been fused, or that have fused together. The nail still longs to be wielded. Allows the, where, the bearer to slash much more rapidly with the nail. Oh my god. If you put these together, that's amazing. I didn't think there was going to be an attack speed nail. That sounds awesome. If I could just hold the button down and he could machine gun it. Alright, I don't, I don't expect it to be that good. I can dream. Oh, what do you know? They were waiting right here to murder me. How did I know? Okay. So, I couldn't get our stuff back. We died and lost it all. And then I died trying to get our soul back. And then I died trying to get our soul back. And then I died trying to get our soul back. So I purposely died to the big thing where the, the right arrow is right there. I purposely died to that thing so that I could get our stuff back. And then I made my way up here. Because those little fly, like the, the little flying bug things that spit, they're projectiles. They aren't affected by gravity. And there were so many of them. I'm really hoping that that uh... Wanderer's Journal. Oh, that's Geo. And a bench. What were you thinking when you froze to death? This ash trapped. Okay, so it's uh, ash and not. That's unfortunate. It sounds pretty terrible to inhale. But basically we died a lot. Now we're here. Yay. It didn't look like this went on too far. She's obviously going to kill us the first time since it's the... Oh. You're already out here? She's Hornet, and I died to her a lot in the beginning of the game. So she's probably a lot harder now. And we're probably going to die a lot. But, the bench is pretty damn close. And it doesn't look like there's any enemies in between. So we'll switch our equipment out for better stuff. Because, like, with this... Like, these two are basically wasted at this point. And I don't know how good this is going to be against the boss. Like, I really like being able to heal while moving. Actually, I guess there's nothing to fall off of. So that could be pretty useful here. So you'd pursue the deeper truth. It isn't one the weak could bear. Wait, that's it? Ooh, I got it? Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal, and I'd feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. Are you just the same as before? You throw that out, you pull it back. Oh. Oops. Okay, that has a much bigger range, I think. You still have the dash. I didn't recognize that. It looked like she was just blocking there. She throws it out, it comes back. Is that a parry? It was a parry. So don't attack her when her thing looks like that. And that won't reach. So I can be Slug Man. Man of slugs. You hurt me, but I hurt you more, probably. Actually, no. The last time I beat her... Okay. I had to hit her... 45 times. Uh, do, should I just not hit the last one? Or do you keep putting them up? Ah, because of my iframes. Okay, you just keep putting them up. I'm clearing these out. And healing. 
That's not what I wanted. Try and throw it. Try and throw it. You're not working with me, lady. She's doing twice as much. Aw, that doesn't generate stuff. I'm gonna right inside my spleen. And probably every other organ I have. Okay, so now that we know exactly where it is and that there's no combat beforehand, what I want to try is... Soul Catcher... Hmm. I think I'm going to try the Quick Slash. Because if we can hit her more times, we'll get more soul anyway. More iframes. And faster healing. The new standard setup. How much faster is that? If I mash it, does it go faster? No. I'm going to assume good enough, though. If you're, even if this is just like 25% faster, it's a lot more hits we can get in. I don't think they have the same iframes that we do. Because if they did, there would be no reason to attack faster, you know? You can't just hold it because other abilities depend on that. I do wish they had a health bar. But what can you do? Oh, hey, you didn't actually get me. Okay, that looked a lot faster. This could be neat. One, two, three, four. All right, that's awesome. I enjoy that. Uh, yeah, you can parry me, but then I just end up hitting your... Oh, my God. I realize I'm losing pretty badly. But just how fast I'm attacking... It's pretty awesome. Hi, lady. I knew that wouldn't reach me. Aw, oh, I was hoping to get the third heal off. You're gonna hit me, but I'll come over here. And I cleared all those things out. And then I died. Because I don't have enough to heal. Ooh, but now I do. A tiny glimmer of hope. Except not really. What you get? Ooh, I can heal. Damn it, it hit over her head. As long as I can keep hitting you. It reached. And now I don't have enough to channel another heal. Let me clear this crap out of the way. I have enough to heal! Ah, but I just caught it with my teeth. What? Oh, she stood up and that was enough of a height difference for her to get me even though I hit her. That bites. I think we knocked her down twice then? Probably have to do that three or four times. Or four or five times, rather. I know I should be dodging that. But she doesn't move. Dang it. If only touching you didn't kill me so. I dodged. My extra iframes, they allow me to hit you a lot more than I should be able to. Yeah, I saw that parry. I'm not about to get any of that. Let me just heal up and then go under you. Yes! Brute force! You're so vulnerable when you're killing me! Keep doing that. Okay, you can stop now. Dang, that was the perfect opportunity! Oh, we still got something out of it. Let's see. Perfect. I'll get over here and heal. Oh, third try. Third try. Proof of resolve. Achievement unlocked. Defeat Hornet in Kingdom's Edge. I thought this was going to be an all-episode thing, but apparently this is a 
stand... I don't know, I just stood under her and attacked her while she beat the crap out of me thing. So strong! Thanks, I'll work it out. You could do it, if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once, knowing its tragic conception, and knowing yourself? Then do it, ghost of Hollow Nest. Head onward. Burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king. I'm king? Uh, that sounds pretty good to me. We love the king day. And then we were in a big skeletal bug. Which doesn't make any sense because bugs have exoskeletons and they don't have... Right? Actually, I guess it's an exoskeleton. I guess it's still technically a skeleton. They have carapace things. Marked by King's Brand. Haloness shall recognize our new ruler. The kingdom's gates will open. Okay, cool. I thought that was like a wax seal or something. It's just burnt onto me. That actually hurts. The ceiling falling on me actually hurts. I should have super dashed. She saved me. Thank you, Hornet. I'll never forget how you beat the crap out of me. In a good way? Nah. Nah, I'm probably just never gonna forget it. I think we actually died less times to her there than we did at the beginning of the game. But I don't actually remember since that was, like, weeks ago. Um... Like, where are we at? Alright, we don't have the thing on, that's why I can't see it. Alright, so we're right over here by the Kingdom's Edge. So if we come back over here, I don't- I don't know if I ever want to take that thing off. Like, this- this faster attacking thing is basically life. Like, I know I say a lot of things are life, but that thing's probably, like, the real life that's been in hiding. I think I would rather have that than more iframes. I know, it's amazing. That I would actually want something else. But... Or surprising. I don't think that's amazing. Uh, now that we have that... Oh, there was a lower thing, like, right where the bottom arrow is touching? Right there. We can go in there now. Ooh, I wonder what the, the tournament would be really easy with this faster attack speed. Never mind, this was a black wooshy thing. I need to go back down to the ancient basin now. Man, the second I took off that moving while healing charm, I missed it. I tried to move while healing and I couldn't. Alright, we made it. You know, thinking about it, this game has a pretty good soundtrack. I wonder why there's so many areas with no music. There's like a lot of them. And then it magically opened because we're already the king. Down and to the right. Down and to the right, down and to the right. Can I just jump? No, we're going down. Ooh, there's Geo. Wow, we even get through those faster. Alright, they're making some creepy noises. What was this called? The Abyss? And we don't even need the Covenant of Artorias. That was close. Are we making it? Alright, now we're in the abyss. The, the floor is the broken... bug bones. Oh. Huh. The, the shades are- oh wait, we don't need to go left, we need to go right. I want that ability. We can check out this area later. I need it. I need it in my life. It said that we could also, like, it ignores enemy collision too, which is something... I, I wish it was an earlier power in the game. But not required, obviously. See, that's a neat way to make spikes. They serve the same purpose, but they look cooler. Something something 420. 
I feel like one of these times they're just gonna reach up extra far and get me. No? Okay. Man, the shades of other people are a lot weaker than mine. Up. These ones definitely seem like they're reaching further. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I could just crystal super dash over that. So we go up. Okay, there's a lot of these things. And we... Okay, it's over here first. Purposely... Two damage! Oh my god, they three shot us. I wasn't expecting that. We have to take these things seriously. I was like, if I run into them, then I can jump. And I'll use them, just like all of the other enemies. And then they were just like, we'll melt you, bro. With all the power of a coursing river. Sometimes I can platform. These platforms are so lonely. We can't even, oh, I am scared. So glad we have a faster attack speed. Oh, that doesn't even... You don't generate soul from them. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. What's in here? Pull the lever. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that's a light. Okay. I was like, okay, that's gonna stab me. Why do they have to make buildings so pointy? So now the shades are gone because the light's up? Oh, they're gone down here too. I was more talking about the enemies that were doing too damage. But if those things are gonna be gone too, then that perfectly works. Just a little bit further. Okay, we're not going that way, but there is something on the other side, and I need to remember that it exists. It's down into the left. Alright, that's obviously going to be a slightly later thing. I'm stuck. Oh, that was a thing. That was a thing. Absorb the shade cloak. To dash forwards, cloaked in shadow. Use... Dash... Use the cloak to dash through enemies and their attacks without taking damage. Right. This is a pretty cool presentation on that. Kind of a big dead bug thing, but still, like, you actually sit down in it and it just absorbs you. We look like our... Oh, okay. So it's not every jump. It's just some jumps. So you can abuse it. And we got a buttload more Geo. I was like, oh my god, once I have that and I can just dash through enemy attacks, like, you put the Dash Master thing on and it's just like nothing can hit me ever again. And then I realized that wasn't how that worked. Either way, we got it. And I'm gonna work my way back to the center. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.